Hey guys, Andrew from Deity here on another episode of Sound 101. We're gonna show you how to disinfect your microphone. That's it. Jeez, that's... I can you do that. I don't even... Are you still... Oh my God, like that, that was a mistake. Well, hey, just like that title said, this whole video is all about disinfecting and hygiene and keeping your gear nice and clean so you can be healthy on set. So let's get started with XLR gear. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move into body pack transmitters and their accessories, lavaliers, and then we're gonna end it all up with dead cats and jammers. So let's get started with XLR microphones. Just like the silly intro was, me just going to town on this microphone with the spray, that's really all you actually have to do. I wasn't kidding, that's it. The key though is to keep your foamy on your microphone because what's gonna happen is that's gonna keep all the mist and moisture and all that stuff off your microphone capsule, which if you have this on, you're gonna keep from also getting moisture from your voice off the capsule as well. So all you have to do, hold it out just a little bit and create a nice little spritzing. You want to stay wet for one minute. Don't try to dry it off extra early. You actually need it to sit there and actually make the killing happen of the germs. Now, don't worry about trying to get it in the actual brass fitting or inside or anything internal because it's all brass. Well, it's actually antimicrobial. Lastly, cannot stress this enough. Do not spray it as just a bare microphone. This mesh is not going to keep out moisture. This foamy will. So now let's talk about the XLR cable itself. The connectors and everything, of course, you can hit this with our disinfectant spray, but let's say you actually have something really gross on it, not germs. What about gunk? What about residue left over from tape and all the stuff that, that can pick up off the ground? Well, you're actually gonna wanna get Goof Off, which is an orange oil cleaner that's actually gonna make this one smell amazing. Two, it's not too strong of an acetone. A good organic oil like that is actually really key to getting adhesive off like glue. And all you need to do is get yourself a rag or a towel, put a little splash on it, and just sit there and goof off your cables for a few minutes. What? Now let's move on to the actual body pack transmitters. The things that come in contact with people more than almost anything possible, except for the lava itself, and these can definitely get gross. You may at first say, you know, why don't we just use the big spray for everything? This is a much more portable solution and probably easier for you guys to get in the middle of everything that's going on, and that is 71% isopropyl alcohol. It's just basic rubbing alcohol, and all you're gonna do is use a little travel spray to sit there, and mist every surface. Now what that rubbing alcohol is going to do is kill and disinfect everything on top of it and sterilize everything. I know at first you are going to be very hesitant about spraying your very expensive electronics with rubbing alcohol, but don't worry, we've created just a very fine mist with this sprayer and the whole unit has been off the whole time. We're not the only ones recommending this. A lot of people right now in the film industry are recommending this exact tip. So just rest assured that you're not alone in those fears. You can also do this to the strap itself at the last minute. Just spray down everything right before you put it on an actor, and it's gonna keep nice and sterile right until the moment it goes in contact with the person who's supposed to be wearing it. One more step you can do is actually put the transmitter in a non-lubricated condom. So if you are having to put it from one actor to another and transfer it mid-set, well, all you have to do is put on a brand new non-lubricated condom and you're good to go. The thing is still nice and clean on the inside and just give it a couple of quick little sprays right before you put it on. Now, the strap itself, while you can disinfect this with a basic spray, you will actually want to clean this at the end of a day because it is going to absorb all the body sweat. The best way to do that is we actually have a bowl of uh, lukewarm soapy water. You're going to submerge this and hand clean this unit yourself and just get it nice and wet and soaked. And you're gonna wanna make sure every single surface is nice and clean, wring it out, and then what you're going to do, oh, dropped it. But imagine, had I not dropped it, you, all you'd want to do is actually just hang dry this in the sun at the end of your shoot day, and the UV light of the sun will help disinfect it, the, anything that's left over from the soapy water that did not get, and then this is also going to dry out in the air. You're not going to put this in a machine washing machine, because at the end of the day, it's going to damage the fabric. You really want these to last. Another option is to use disposable ace bandages, you know, the basic kind of temporary wrap-ups that you can do 
throw them away at the end of the day. You can get those for about a dollar. And if you are interested in more alternative hacks for your sound kit for people who are just getting started, there's a video right up here that's all about different kinds of items that you can buy at a pharmacy. So now we've come to lavaliers and the best thing you can do is again is soapy water. What you can do if you have a waterproof lavalier is merely just, just sit there and dunk and clean that sucker out. I mean, it's, it's gross. It's gonna catch a lot of stuff. It's gonna be stuck to a lot of people's skin. And when you're done, you just need to take like a nice soft cotton pad we've got here and just rinse it all off. Now you may say to yourself, do you wanna use that for the whole lavalier? Yeah, why not? It's silicone, just pop that whole sucker in there. Now, you'll notice I am keeping the connector out. And the reason for that is this is not waterproof. We're gonna leave that and we're gonna let that dry here in a second. But we can actually sit there and spray the connector with the isopropic alcohol. Isopropyl. Now, some people are worried about using isopropyl alcohol on a lavalier, and they should be because the wire can actually crack. It can actually become brittle in age. Isopropyl alcohol will dry out the rubber or silicone in your lavalier wire. Now, how do you fix that? Simple, we've actually got an organic oil right here. This is actually olive oil, because it's actually one of the cheaper organic oils you can get. And all you wanna do is just get a little bit right there on a pad, and you're gonna just put that lav wire. You're gonna sit there and just condition your rubber just like you would any other kind of rubber in your life. And that's all that needs is just a quick little rinse. And now it is completely sanitary. Now you'll notice we also got a lot of goo off that wire because this, just like the orange oil, will actually remove adhesives from your cable. So if you are using moleskin to secure a wire and you've got leftover heated up moleskin that is now stuck to the wire, this will also get that off. So last up we have is the actual dead cats themselves. You may be wondering why on earth do we need to disinfect this stuff? This doesn't come in contact with too many people, uh, except for the fact that it does hover above someone's head about only eight inches. And as we spit out and we talk and we do all that good stuff like breathing, it gets out there. And this stuff is just like a giant sponge for all that nasty germs. So we do need to disinfect it. So what you can do is of course your classic disinfectant spray and just do a light coat over them. Now you may say to yourself, what about some nasty gunk? Like, you know, Ew. this, that's not great. And this can affect your sound and will shorten the lifespan of your dead cat. Well, what you wanna do is actually do a hand wash in warm water with soap. You're gonna use a light detergent, like a wool light, and you're going to actually dry these out in the sun. Same thing here, if you've got a right coat softy, warm water, just kind of rinse it off, and when you're done, let them dry out in the sun. That's gonna do the double disinfectant of the UV light, as well as just dry it off without you having to worry about tumble dry and heat drying, and really maybe damaging it like some of the glue that is down here in the base. Now when you have one of these and it is now completely dry, what you can do is of course comb it all out because what you're gonna want is not something that looks like just a giant kind of mess and with messy hair, you're gonna actually wanna comb all that out. Those tangles can actually cause things to clump up like this and something like that can actually affect your sound pickup pattern because it's acting like a giant shield for sound to not get through. So you may end up with a cloud of sorts in your pickup pattern and your microphone may not be able to reject things coming left and right as well evenly as before if the hair was actually straightened and combed out. Now, if you do have a bubble bee kind of wind jammer, this little guy has to come out when you clean it up. I think they call it the wind killer, my bad. Uh, then you're actually gonna wash this thing with just the warm water and some soap and this thing, just hit it with some disinfectant spray. Well, that is our episode all about how to keep your gear kind of clean and sanitary as well as your workstations clean and sanitary. Now, while this may actually seem really relevant in this moment in time, this is actually timeless information. You should definitely keep your gear clean and sanitary at all times because it's good for your health and it's also good for your gear's health. If you like this kind of video and want more videos like this, tell us all about it down in those comments section below. We go down there all the time and farm out ideas for future videos. If you really like this content, totally hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you are one of the first people to find out when we post videos for you guys. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones. Thank you for watching.